So I've been gone for a little bit. <laughs> Let me take this off. <laughs> Yo! What's good, my fellow main characters? My name is Bam. Welcome back to the channel for another video. I was a little bit worried because I wasn't sure if I still had it in me to do that intro, if I still had it in me to make that happen, you know. <laughs> It's been so long since I've been on YouTube. It's been about four months. I guess uh, I guess we just have to get caught up with a couple different things. Um, first of all, on a very serious note, as uh, many of you guys already know what's going on in the world right now, uh, I'm pretty sure most people are kind of really feeling the impact of it. Um, you might be living in a place where you're on lockdown, where you can't go anywhere. I'm living in the United States, so we do have a restricted lockdown procedure, but people, of course, can go out for short bursts, go out to, like, go for runs to work out, or go to walk their dogs, or um, go to pick up the necessities and just come back. It's basically a go from point A to point B kind of situation. So I'm living in that kind of situation, and it's been like that... Um, for the past couple weeks now. I think it's coming up on a month now. I think it started March 15th and it's literally uh, it's literally April 12th. So in about three days we're about to hit a month. So it, it's tough man. It's one of those things that I'm just sitting here like wow. This situation is really crazy. Of course, you know, humanity as a whole have gone through a lot of crazy, radically impossible situations before. So this is not really something different. It's not something groundbreaking. We've been through things like plagues before and diseases and, you know, slavery and, uh, and assassinations and genocides. We've been through some, humanity as a whole has been through some crap. And I do feel like at this point in history is one of the best times to go through it because there's so much innovation and technology now. There's so much uh, communication for everyone's well-being. Um, there's a lot of miscommunication out here, of course. There's a lot of misinformation, so you have to be very peculiar in terms of what you're listening to and just try to get second opinions from all over the place and just try to match it up with what you're kind of seeing in the world, right? You gotta kind of match it back up to yourself for reference. All in all, I think this is one of the best times for this type of thing to happen. And if you do have a family member or a friend that has caught this thing, and you know it's feeling sick or like has some fort like god forbid lost her life to it <sighs> i'm deeply sorry for that and i just i just been it's just crazy how things are and i just if you're if you're being impacted in any crucial negative way have you lost your job um if you if you're like you don't know what's going to happen next and if you're you have this anxiety and this fear like i deeply feel for you and just know, you know, if you have that going on, you know, comment down below. If you want to keep it private, then somehow we'll find some way to engage in some kind of personal uh, conversation, like maybe on some other social media platform or whatever. But if you're cool with just, just talking on the YouTube's community space and stuff like that, we can do that as well. Yeah, man, it's, it's absolutely crazy. So I felt like I should definitely, um, I definitely want, I definitely wanted to kind of bring attention to that because it's kind of impossible to not bring attention to that. Uh, previously in my, my video I brought up before, I basically gave myself six months time to just basically do my own thing and just focus on getting better at programming and getting better at being healthier and physically fit because one of my goals for the summer was to get a six pack and man <laughs> let me tell you guys when i found out that the gyms were closing if you guys don't notice about me um i'm a i, I guess you would quote unquote call me a gym rat like i love the gym i love working out i love feeling the boost and of energy and power and seeing the results and seeing the muscles get bigger and you know get and seeing yourself get leaner and and feel healthier and breathe better and stuff like that like i love <laughs> i love the gym someday in march but it was on a tuesday and i was just like this is the last i could get a gym so i had a super have super hard workout there and then man i went into i went into i didn't go crazy into my savings because you know i wanted to make sure i'm ready for emergencies but i definitely was like We gotta, <laughs> I gotta make up for it somewhere. So thankfully, I'm in a situation where I'm living with my family. And so in our basement, we have enough space. We had an old treadmill and an old elliptical. I fixed the treadmill. I thought I fixed the elliptical, but the elliptical is kind of 
Yeah, acting kind of weird now. I just bought a whole bunch of gym equipment. I think maybe in a video I'll kind of show you guys a little bit in another video, possibly. Yeah, <laughs> in another video, possibly I'll show you guys uh, the gym equipment I got down there. Like I got a pull-up bar, I got gymnastic rings, I have some dumbbells coming in, I got a weight vest coming in, I got some resistance bands, got a treadmill of course, got a yoga mat. Uh, your boy is ready. <laughs> Interesting thing about me making this video right here is I wasn't planning to and i haven't been planning on making videos for a while because obviously i gave myself the out i gave myself the excuse of you know having six months of basically quote unquote working on myself and um going on a hyperbolic time chamber so to speak you know i kind of had this envision of myself kind of coming back to youtube space you know having you know having six packs <laughs> And just being in a better mental space to just mm, go heavy hand hard on on making YouTube more of a thing and um, also improving my career as a whole as a web developer and as a YouTuber and as whatever else I was wanting to be. It was if it wasn't for a call from my boy Crunchwave. Um, I'm not going to use his real name because he's kind of like the ninja type. He likes to keep things in the shadows, kind of keeps himself. I, that's the vibe he gives off. He's a ninja, like he's a ninja. So my boy Crunchwave, shout out to him because he had a really impactful conversation with me today that was so, the timing of that conversation was just so impeccable, impe impeccable, <laughs> so impeccable um, because it links back to what I've been thinking about through this whole time because one of the things I'm the type of person that looks for the silver lining in every situation and so with this whole quarantine type situation going on here one of the things I think we're able to do in quarantine is kind of take more time to be by ourselves because obviously we're spending less time with other people in person and the beauty of doing that is that you're able to really reflect on yourself and where you're going where you want to go you kind of it kind of halts halt any momentum that was happening in your life like it's, it, it halts a huge amount of momentum that was pushing you forward and it causes you to stop and it kind of catch causes you to catch yourself you know you kind of sit there in this moment of like nothing's really moving and kind of get to reflect and really catch your breath and really think and see your life and see is your life moving in a way that you actually wanted to be moving and so i spent literally the last week and a half really contemplating that but one of the things i wanted to do that was kind of on my heart was this idea of figuring out what i'm good at and maximizing that i talked with a lot of friends on the phone because one of the things that i feel like is good if you just talk to some of your closest friends like i mean like people that you're really tight with that you're really close with and you just ask them about yourself you can get a lot of details and a lot of information that because sometimes our egos <laughs> sometimes our egos get in the way of like really understanding who we truly are and our closest friends at least in my experience are able to kind of look past the ego and kind of see what you provide to like them and to the world in general so i talked with a couple different friends about kind of what i'm good at and who they think i am as a person and i'm not really going to get too much into that in this video because it got got pers it got personal of course it wasn't like i was surprised it was more like i feel that like like that's like like it just like it like it's a lock in the key like it's it's a it's a thing that i always knew was there but never took the time to really accept because i thought it was nothing until my friends told me like oh it was actually something <laughs> i know that sounds kind of vague right now but it's more or less take the time to to you know contact some of your closest friends and kind of ask them a little bit about yourself in a kind of kind of do it in a humble way not in trying to brag your way but kind of like ask them what they really think about you but the benefit of that situation it could be that you get get closer to your friends by yes. learning what they really think about you or you know you could find out that maybe they weren't the friends you thought they were <laughs> and so i've been thinking about like how to maximize my gift how to maximize my gift and then my boy crunch waves gives me a call after not talking to him for about a year and a half 
and we're talking and he's just like he just like tell me about like how how essentially talked to me about youtube and like how he kind of saw what i was doing on youtube and how you know he appreciated the videos i was putting out and you know we we're talking about things like business and moving forward and you know grinding and doing what we can in life and one of the things he was telling me is that he literally told me i was sleeping on this youtube thing you know in my head i thought of all the things that like you know i'm going on this time skip you know i'm going on this whatever and stuff like that but then i really sat down and thought to myself that that was just another excuse uh kind of fabricated by my ego like saying that i need a time skip saying that i need to kind of put youtube aside so i can focus on other things now that i think about it now and after talking with my boy um i realized that was just a limitation i was kind of putting on myself that was absolutely unnecessary and i don't know if you guys ever watched gorilla gone but i kind of reference it sometimes on my channel but gorilla gone is like literally my number one favorite anime second is my hero academia second is my hero academia but Gorilla Gun will always be number one just because of what it instilled in me in terms of my base character. There's a quote from Gorilla Gun that is like Kamna speaking to Simone uh, after the time skip. And Kamna was like, the truth. I think I'll probably play it here. <laughs> Get going, Simone. Just don't be distracted by the what ifs, should haves, and if onlys. The one thing you choose yourself, that is the truth of your universe. Yeah, you're right. Exactly right. So what that means to me is that whatever you decide to believe, whatever you hold in your heart is the truth. And I know it's a kind of a weird concept because there's obviously certain things that are grounded and just stable and just, you can't, just like, this table's a table. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I can't believe this table well, technically, I could believe this table's a chair and kind of sit on it. Mm. <laughs> but you guys get what I mean. There's certain things that are like concrete, established stuff. But, but like what you believe you can do and what you believe you can achieve, it all starts off with what you choose to accept from yourself here. If you believe that you could only work for four hours a day, if you only had the capability to work for four hours a day, even if you had a capability to work more than that, you've capped yourself like you've already set a limiter on what you're capable of doing i was honestly setting a limiter on myself in terms of what i believed i could do at any one point in time because if i have that then i don't know what i really am capable of i don't i, ne I don't push myself i don't try to transcend my limits at whatever limits i have i don't try to push past it and i just try to I guess optimize honestly i wasn't too sure what this whole video was going to be about i just told my boy crunchwave that i would sit down record myself a video edit it and then upload it to youtube i would just upload because that's when it, i actually met um mkbhd one time it wasn't you know it wasn't too major it was just like a casual little thing it wasn't anything serious or nothing like that met him at his tech event obviously uh, i think it was a one plus the one plus seven t T event? I met him I met him at that event. During that time I kinda asked him about like, you know, what his whole idea about doing YouTube is and like how do you find a way to be successful? Kind of like a generic question. And he gave me an answer that was like basically make the best quality video you can with the stuff available to you and then click upload. And it's a simple thing, it's a duh, no brainer bro. So it's like it's not something you register, but when you think about the, when I think, at least when I think about the amount of resistance that I had to push through in order to sit down and record a video, it's a lot. There's a lot of mental resistance I put on myself, excuses and caps and fears and anxieties that come up before clicking this, clicking the red button to record this video. But as I'm doing it, um, I'm feeling good. Like I'm feeling happy that I actually sat down and recorded this video. I'm not going to make any promises about videos I will make in the future. Just know that I'm going to be making videos in the future. I'm going to be making more videos on a more routinely basis. I don't know what they're going to be about. They're most likely just because of 
you know me, most likely going to be on Weibo Otaku anime related stuff and could very well possibly be a lot more fitness related content as well and some vlogging and some insights on life and whatnot but yes um i'm back um yeah <laughs> so i'm going to end the video as i usually do my fellow main characters always remember that you are the main character of your own story and i'll catch you guys in the next one, I'm out.